Welcome back. Here we are again. So yeah, I um I'm leaving these off like in the middle of a discussion because like I don't know, it just seems like a good idea to do. It's like, okay, I've got my 10 minutes up and we're having a good conversation and if you're interested, then you're going to come back and listen and if you're not, then fuck me, I guess, right? But uh yeah, I just flat out asked my music teacher. I'm like, "Why do you hate me so much? Like, what is your problem with me?" And he's like, "I don't hate you." And uh, really, he didn't have anything else to say. Fuck, I forgot that. All right, let me go back and see if I can't find that coin. I bet it is where I thought it was. I'm, I'm positive of it. But yeah, he didn't really have an answer for me. He was just like, I don't hate you. And it's just like, really, because I'm pretty sure that you do. And, you know, like, you're making this whole thing ridiculous. Like, I love band, and I don't understand why you can't, like, get it through your head that I'm somebody who's, like, a good asset to the fucking band. There it is found it but it doesn't matter anymore because like I'm not gonna play in a band with you anymore I've dealt with your shit for long enough that I'm just over this you know and I was like I'll finish out the year I'll be in band for the rest of the year but next school year I'm just not gonna be in it like I'm not gonna let you take away anything from me without taking it all away you know it's like I'm not gonna I'm just gonna quit this school I, that's what I ended up doing, is I left that school, and, like, m I would like to blame it on, like, just him, but he was kind of the icing on the cake. The reality was, like, I wasn't going to graduate on time if I stayed in that school, so I decided to, because I missed, um, I missed leaving freshman year to sophomore year by one half of a fucking credit. That's no joke, like, I had, in order to pass, you have to have, like, 70%, right? I had 69.5, and it was, like, really, you know, from what I understand, in, in fucking math class, 0.5 rounds to the highest number, and I should be, you know, barely passing, <laughs> but I should have passed. But, apparently, when, you know, you're me, and you go to a school for, full of, you know, corn-fed hicks and teachers who suck ass and don't care about anybody else but themselves or their their teachers pets and that's like you know i guess i have like a lot of resentment towards like that whole kind of time of my life um and i try to let it go i definitely do but every now and then like i'll think about these things and it still kind of like irks me you know it bothers me that i feel like i got shafted a lot because of you know like just certain um Certain experiences I had with certain teachers, like my fifth grade teacher, for example, like my fifth grade teacher didn't believe in me either. You know, uh, he did everything he could to keep me from being able to be like, I'm going to try and get that turtle to respawn so I can get that fire flower, which didn't work. So fuck it. Uh, he just tried anything he could to um, keep me from like progressing you know um he would he had this thing where it was like okay ask a ask me any any question that has to do with science on friday I think you have all week to think of a question and then ask me a question on friday and so um i don't remember what my question was but like you know i would ask questions and every time i would ask a question he would just ridicule me for it like, period. Like, it didn't matter if it was a good question or if it was just, like, I don't really, I haven't thought about it this week, so it didn't matter. Like, if there was no thought to it or if there was thought to it, like, he would just fucking make fun of me in front of everybody. Like, and he was the first teacher that I ever had that did that. And it didn't help, you know, those things didn't help. And, boy, I'm going on and on about this, like, bullying thing. Because really, to tell you the truth, like, the kids that... That was... It was easier for me to handle a kid that was bullying me than it was a teacher. Because a teacher, um, kind of... At that point in time, it was like, they're the authority figure, you know? I'm not sure how it is in school now, but I know that kids get away with a hell of a lot more than I think they should. Fuck, I need that fucking helmet to beat this. Oh, cool, there we go. But, um, yeah, and, like, so when you have a teacher who's bullying you, it's like, well, what can you do? 
what can you do? You can tell your parents, but, I mean, what really is that going to do? Like, I mean, yeah, your parents can go in and talk to the teacher, to the school board or whoever about it, but ultimately, like, the school board is going to favor their teachers. At least that's how it was when I was in school, you know? It didn't matter what a kid said about um, a teacher unless you were, like, flat out accusing him of fucking, like, molestation or something, then that would matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just like... So the, the school board is gonna take the side of, of uh, the teacher, no matter what. And, you know, like, I wanted transferred out of that class. And I remember him being like, do you think the other teacher is gonna be any easier on you? And it's like, I don't think he's gonna make fun of me as much as you fucking do. It's like, that was, it was almost like, you know, yet again, it was like, I don't know why I was such a target for these two particular teachers, but they just loved to do that to me. It was like, oh, this guy's never gonna amount to anything. And here's the thing, going back to the band thing, like, I'm the only person, the only person that was in that band, in high school band, that class, that year, that whole time, who still does music. I'm the only one. Yeah, I was the one that was never gonna amount to anything. Yet. There are thousands of you who love my songs and say, hey, like, we want to hear more about more songs. We want to hear more of this stuff, you know? And I didn't get anything. <clears throat> I didn't learn anything from my music teacher other than how to rely on myself, you know? How to, like, prove to myself that I could do it, you know? And that's, like, again, it's not what he was going for. All he wanted to do was belittle me. That was it. That was, like, his whole fucking agenda. Like, he didn't, you know. Anyway, I don't want you to feel sorry for me or anything. It's just, like, I understand what it's like to be bullied. I understand what it's like to be fucking depressed. Because a lot of these things that I dealt with, I think, um, kind of integrated in my adult life as to, like, who I am and how I handle things and, like, why I'm depressed and or get depressed. And, like, you know, I, can I say I am depressed? No, not really. Um... I might be disappointed with some things, but I'm not depressed, you know? Like, fuck, I have two jobs now. Like, I, I get to start a new job, um, and that sucks because, like, I don't want to work two jobs, <laughs> but it's the first time in my life that I've ever actually done that, and I have a new car that I'm, you know, paying for, and, you know, like, I'm making big boy decisions, and, like, I'm happy with some things. But, you know, I think... Uh, you know, I didn't go to college, and the reason why I didn't go to college is because I hated school, because of, like, the fucking issues that I dealt with with specific teachers, you know? Like, I let those things fuck me up, and I guess it all comes back to that whole thing. Like, you can't let somebody else have that kind of power over you, you know? So, when somebody is, like, telling you that you're gonna amount to anything, even if it's yourself, like, you've gotta stop, and you've gotta be like... Yes, I can, and yes, I am worth something, and, you know, I understand that, um, being depressed, the, being depressed is addicting, right? Because what happens is, is maybe you like the attention that people give you, right? Like, you, oh, woe is me, and I'm, I'm in such a bad spot, and my life sucks, and feel bad for me. I, I mean, we all see people like this on Facebook, every single fucking one of us. Even you kids out there may not notice it, but, like, there are there are kids who think that way. And that sucks, because when you're a child who thinks that way, you're going to be an adult who thinks that way. And you're going to think that way the rest of your life because no one's ever taught you any different. Let me be the one to fucking teach you something different about it. Like, you cannot allow anybody to tear you down and tell you that, you know... I guess these episodes aren't as funny as they should be. It's more like a super serious thing. I don't know. I guess this is just kind of what's on my mind. And, um, I don't know. I want things to go well for Tony. And that's why I've kind of invited him to, you know, work for me. Or not work for me. Well, yeah, work for me here doing, doing Replay Arcade. And, um, also, you know, get a job with me over at my other, my, like, real job. Where I go to make real money every day. Um, but it worries me when I... You know, like, when I'm ignored, and I know that he's, like, one of these guys who gets upset and, or doesn't feel like getting out of bed or whatever, and it's like, well, you're gonna have a job soon, and, like, you're gonna have to be there, so, like, that worries me. It bothers me that this is okay for you to, like, completely ignore me, 
Now, again, it's like one day I'd really like to be able to pay Tony or Evan to come out here and do this. Like, Evan doesn't care, like, at all. And I know Tony doesn't expect anything. Like, you know, like, when I'm doing this stuff with him, he knows that it's not, like, it's not money that we're getting out of this. Like, but I would love to be able to, you know, pay those guys for the time spent doing this because, of course, that would make them more motivated to be here, I think, <clears throat> you know. But that really just depends on, like, how well we do and how far it goes, and I hope it goes far. I mean, it's it's doing a lot better than I ever thought it would, I'll tell you that. I mean, at least the channel in general is, anyway. But, anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes, because I'm enjoying doing them, and I want to see you guys in the next episode. <laughs>